Juicy, juicy, juicy. Hmm. What's up with it, Peace? What's up with it? What's up? What's up? What's up with it? This is your boy, Musa. Bring you that heat. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Be left in that loop every time your boy drop that content. Y'all know I be bringing that heat. Y'all know I be bringing that heat. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Can you like, share, and subscribe? Like, share, and subscribe. Boy, I tell you, boy, the NBA trade deadline yesterday. It was a lot of pieces move. It was a lot of pieces move, man. You, we all seen the big blockbuster. James Harden. Uh, ben Simmons. But I see James Harden leaving after a year, though, man. It's like, damn, brother, you ain't looking too hot getting traded around. You can trade around like Russ. You can trade around like Russ. What's up with that? What's up with that, peeps? That's messed up, ain't it? And, and, and some people say, this is what some people just say now, they think James Harden is out of shape. He ain't playing his full potential. I mean, that's what they say. That's what they say. And, and, and the word on the street, words on the street. Check this out. Word on the street says. Oh, man. I'm a, I'm a, this, is, this is a tweet coming from Bow. Bow Sack Sports. <laughs> Kyrie Irving and James Hart got into a brief physical altercation after Kyrie called the 32 year old superstar washed during one scrimmage. Oh Lord, have mercy. Can you see that? He barely in shape. Kyrie barely in shape. But he called the boy washed. Oh my goodness. Kyrie beat James Harden one on one and almost every day in practice. And Kyrie was barely even in basketball shape. It demoralized Harden. Things reached to the breaking point and he came out when Kyrie called Harden washed after completely locking him up on one scrimmage. And his sister had to break up the two as tempers flared and the relationship spiraled down here from there. Lord. <laughs> that's crazy the boy, ain't it? That's crazy. So that's why your boy was ready to roll on now, you think. Kyrie done shook him. Shook him left and right. But you know what? That Brooklyn Mike came out up good on that deal, though. Shit, Ben Simmons, he ain't got to score. Hell no. He going to do what James Harden don't want to do. Shit, he going to pass that motherfucker. He going to bring it up to the court. Play some defense. Block shit. He going to get the breakaway dunks. I mean, it's going to be exciting. I mean, hey, the Knicks, the Knicks beat the Warriors last night. What, what more can you expect? And them motherfuckers didn't make no goddamn move. No move, boy. How you see that shit? How you see that shit? I mean, well, as long as you keep on winning, it'd be cool. But, man, if you make no moves and y'all motherfuckers losing, that shit going to be ugly for TV. It's going to be real ugly for TV. I mean, right now, man, like, like the Lakers. Oh, my God. The Lakers are looking horrible for TV right now, man. Man, that loss to the uh, Blazers. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Just terrible. Just terrible. As Charles Barker was saying, just terrible. And uh, Big Brother Ticket TV cooked. Cooked on that ass, boy. I mean, LeBron had messed up the Lakers. They're going to be done for some yells. Some yells. You know? 
But yeah, Kyrie, man, that shook the hell out of James Harden and shook his ass right to Philadelphia. <laughs> shook him. He washed. He washed. But we're going to see how good they do be in Philly, though. They're going to be straight. They're going to be straight. Ooh, so get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn ready. Put some butt on that motherfucker. It's going to be all good. Some salt and pepper. Yeah, kettle corn don't no matter. God damn it, it's going to be all good. Good in the hood. Good in the hood. But it's your boy Moosa, man. Bring it in here. You already know. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.